Welcome to isocrats.app channel, a platform where you learn, measure and grow. On this video, we will show a quick and simple way to solve the question. Explain the process of controlled and uncontrolled chain reactions. Answer A. Controlled chain reaction. In a controlled chain reaction, the number of neutrons released is maintained to be 1. This is achieved by absorbing the extra neutrons with a neutron absorber, leaving only one neutron to produce further fission reactions. Thus, the reactions is sustained in a controlled manner. The energy released due to a controlled chain reaction can be utilized for constructive purpose. The controlled chain reaction is used in a nuclear reactor to produce energy in a sustained and controlled manner. So, we are given that in each nuclear reaction, this much of energy is released. So, if we control the number of neutrons which is responsible for kickstarting the nuclear reactor, then we can in turn control the amount of energy the reactions produce or the reactor produce. And this energy can be used for constructive purpose such as to produce energy, that is to produce current or power from, for example, the nuclear reactor. So this is the application of control chain reaction and this is what control chain reaction means. B. Uncontrolled chain reaction. In the uncontrolled chain reaction, the number of neutrons multiplies indefinitely and causes fission in a large amount of fissile material. This results in the energy release of huge amount of energy within fraction of seconds. This kind of chain reaction is used in the atom bomb to produce an explosion. We have always wondered that in an atom bomb, how the explosion is such powerful or such disastrous. This is the concept behind the atom bomb. When the reactions or the nuclear reactions is uncontrolled due to the production of uncontrolled number of neutrons, the reactions will go on and multiply. For each reaction, as I said before, there will be an amount of energy that will be released. But I, if number of reactions took its turn at the same time, multiple amount of this, that energy will be released. So totally the energy release would be very high or enormous within the a fraction of a second. So this is this is uncontrolled chain reaction and this is the application of uncontrolled chain reaction at a box. <laughs>